Hey guys, Tommy Bryson here, and you guys know me, okay? I'm kind of a weirdo. So today, I found myself on the internet looking up different ways to save money, invest, and all that regular stuff, but then I landed on mortgage, on a home, on paying something off that's so massive, it takes people a lifetime to basically pay it off. Like for example, my grandpa, He's been paying off this mortgage for like forever. Like I was born, I graduated high school, I graduated college, I've been working for like four or five years now, and he's still not done with this mortgage with a two-person income. And the sad thing is that that's actually pretty normal. However, though, I did find a way using the 50 divided by 50 rule in a sense to actually pay off your mortgage in four years. Now, before you say, Tommy, that's not true, well, I'm gonna show you the proof because the proof is in the pudding. And here's a couple. This couple right here paid off their mortgage in four years. Like, like you need more evidence? Like, it's right here. It's an article. Has to be true. Now, it, it is true, though. And by the way, I look like I'm a part of their family by being next to them. However, I'm not a part of their family. But I do like what they did here. And by the way, in this video, I'll teach you how this 50 divided by 50 little framework basically works, but I gotta warn you, it doesn't involve borrowing money from Peter to pay Paul like with a HELOC, it doesn't involve buying a tiny home, it doesn't involve living in a car, and most importantly, it's just a regular boring house you can grow into and you're gonna be happy in, okay? It's not a little clickbait hack that, hey, I bought a cardboard from Squidward and now I'm living rent free. Like that's not what it is, okay? It's, it's a normal home, it costs a lot of money, but you're gonna be able to pay it off in four years, maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years max. But the point is, that's a lot sooner than 30 years like the average person actually takes, okay? So this video, it should help you out. Now do me a favor and help me out and smash the like button. Appreciate that a ton. And on top of that, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. But let's get right into it. So, first things first. What is this 50 divided by 50 thing? I don't I don't know why they always have like these little fancy formulas and little numbers and little rules or whatever, but it, it basically means, again, this is kind of complicated, okay? But what it means is you're gonna be living off of 50% of your income, not 30, not 80, not 90, 50% of your income. And I mean after tax income. So it's not like, I talk to people all the time that say, Tommy, I make $6,000. I'm like, okay, how much do we make after taxes? Oh, like 4,000, okay? Because it's very different. So that means that whatever you make, if you make $4,000 a month, multiplied by 0.50, half of that is 2,000, okay? So you're living off literally $2,000 a month. That is your budget. And the other half of your income, well, you're gonna use that, obviously, to pay off the mortgage as fast as possible. That is what this 50 divided by 50 thing basically is. But in order to actually get this done again, before you say, Tommy, this is not possible, Tommy, this is just crazy, again, okay, here's a couple. I'm a part of their family, I'm right here next to them. They did it. So whatever any person, man, woman, child can do in this world, you can also do it. So don't think they're special, no. It takes hard work, but you can also do it. So here you go. First things first, okay? In order to do this, obviously, you're going to need to lower your expenses. So make a list of all of your expenses from A to Z. Write down which ones you need, which ones you don't. The ones you don't need, you cut them out, obviously. And the ones you do need, you try to find alternatives for them. So if, you, if you've been spending, for example, like $100 on internet, then cut that down to $50 or $40 with a different plan. If you spend $300 on a phone bill, get out of that plan and get a prepaid plan, okay? That's the idea. If you spend hundreds of dollars per month on food, start doing some grocery shopping, bro. And then that way you can save a lot more money in order to get this plan done. But the first step is you gotta go ahead and lower your expenses. And the goal is to get it below 50%, okay? That's the goal. But I've also noticed that whether it's 50 or 60 or 70, that's still pretty good and pretty awesome. Once you hit, for example, 80%, well, it's not that great. It'll take a lot longer. It won't take four years or 10 years. It'll take a little longer, okay? So 70% is a sweet spot. 50% is just amazing, very amazing. But also, it takes a lot of sacrifice. I will say that. Now, 
Step zero is this, okay? The most important thing when it comes to buying a home is the home you choose to buy. So this family, they didn't buy a $300,000 home, maybe for example, $400,000, no. They didn't buy a home based on what their friends would think. They didn't buy a home based on what the bank would qualify them for. No, they bought a home based on what their budget and what their personal goals basically were. So that means they put down 40%. You don't have to do that. 10, 20% is fine. But they bought a home, in this case, is only around 25% of their monthly income. That way, they have a bunch of extra money to throw into the home and pay it off a lot faster. Now, this is very important because most people, they get very expensive homes thinking they're gonna live there forever and then they get stuck with these payments forever. That's not what you wanna do, okay? So, most important thing is the home you actually buy. Now, I have a very simple rule here and the rule is just make sure the home you buy including the mortgage, the taxes, insurance, and HOA. Maintenance should be saved up for like on the side in the savings accounts, but including all those expenses, make sure it's no more than 33% of your monthly income. 33% of your monthly income on a 15 year mortgage, and you also put down 10 to 20%. Now in English, this basically means, because it sounds like a lot of words, I get it, I know, but it means that if you're making $4,000 a month, well, 33% of that, which is multiplied by 0.33, the answer is $1,320 is gonna be your monthly budget to actually for this home. So how do you find out how much home you can buy when your budget is 1320 or whatever it is for you? Well, simple, go on Google, type in mortgage calculator, click the link by bank rate, and this right here is the website. So you don't wanna buy based on what they say here, you wanna make some adjustments, okay? You wanna put down your down payment. Is it gonna be 20% or 10%? I'm gonna put down 20%. Your loan term, 15 years is the rule. And then on top of that, interest rate is based on the average. Right now it's 5.4%. Haven't they gone up, huh? They've gone up very quickly. And then you wanna use this right here, your estimated monthly payment. And you wanna lower it to, let's say, 1320, because 1320 is your budget if you make $4,000 per month after taxes and you want to lower it down to 13 when okay okay right here 13 22 don't worry if you don't get the exact number it doesn't matter it's not a big deal but 13 22 and here it tells you hey you can afford a home that's one hundred and seventy five thousand dollars boom you know exactly what your budget is and you know what you're looking for so when you go to the bank don't listen to them and hear like, hey, you can afford a home that's 300,000 on a 30 year mortgage. No, don't listen to them. Buy what is within your budget. This we can pay it off a lot faster. Now, next, you gotta figure out your timeline. What is gonna work best for you? If you know for a fact, you're not gonna be able to set aside half your income to do this, then just be real with yourself and say, hey, I'm gonna set aside maybe like 10% or 20%. Or 30%, okay? But don't set a crazy goal that you won't be able to keep up with because it doesn't help anyone, okay? So your timeline is going to be based on how much money you can set aside for this goal to pay off your mortgage as fast as possible. But again, most important thing is the home you actually buy. But again, if your expenses are half, 50%, I do believe you should still invest 10 to 20% of your income into retirement it's still gonna take you a while and you also wanna build that up because it's also gonna be passive income for the future. And then the rest that's left over, let's say you're investing 20%, you have left over 30%, which is very good. You grab that money and you use it to pay off your mortgage faster. So that means, for example, if your expenses, again, if you make $4,000, if you're spending half, then you know it's $2,000, which you basically get. But also, if you're investing 20%, then you know that's basically 800. But on top of that, also, if you're gonna be basically going ahead and setting aside 30% for paying off the mortgage faster, well, multiply by 0.3, well, 4,000, multiply by 0.3, it gives you 1,200. So I'm making my regular payments because my mortgage is a part of my expenses, but I'm also gonna be paying an extra $1,200 a month to see exactly how fast I'll be done. How do you do this and calculate it? It's fine. Just go right back to the website, right here, you scroll down and you click where it says amortization schedule. 
and you go down here and you say, hey, I want to add an extra monthly payment. In this case, I want to pay an extra $1,200 or whatever your amount basically is. And instead of paying it off, for example, by 2037, which is 15 years from now, I'm going to be done, for example, by 2028, which is basically six years from now. It's not four years, right? But it is six years, which is a lot better than 10 years, 15 years, and especially 30 years. Now, this couple, remember, they put down 40% on a down payment. So if you put down 40%, you'll be done, for example, in five years. If you put down, for example, 50% on your property, right? Well, guess what? You're going to be done, for example, in like, like exactly four years, okay? So that's the idea. The more money you put down, the sooner you'll be done. But it's the same thing because if you take more time to save up more money for a down payment, well, that time plus the time it takes to pay it off is basically the same exact thing. So my advice is just put down 20% and whatever the extra money basically is that you need basically use to um, go ahead and throw towards the mortgage, you use that and just pay it off while you're paying it off. That's the idea, if that makes sense. Well, pay it off faster while you're living there, not saving up to buy a home while you're renting somewhere and wasting money on the rent in this case. That's the idea. And yes, I do know. I say basically a lot, okay? It's my favorite word in the entire dictionary. Now, the last little tip I got to give you guys here, and step three here, if you want to call it that, is that basically you want to make sure you get a 15-year mortgage. Why? You'll save a lot more in interest. Two, is gonna force you to pay it off faster. And three, everything combined. So if you get a 30-year mortgage, what happens is this, okay? By the way, if you get a 30-year mortgage, you can actually buy a property for $243,000 with the same payment of $1,320 per month. You see the difference there? So getting a 30-year mortgage allows you to basically buy a more expensive home with lower payments or equal payments because you're spreading around for 30 years, but you'll also be paying a bunch of interest. Now, a question I see all the time or statement is, well, why don't I just go ahead and get the 30 year mortgage and treat it like a 15 year mortgage? Because you give yourself an out. So at one point, you're probably gonna start treating that 30 year mortgage like a 30 year mortgage and not make extra payments because something popped up right? But if it's a 15-year mortgage, you'll be forced to pay it off in at least 15 years, plus the extra payments a lot sooner. That's why. And this way, you're not tempted to go ahead and buy something that's more expensive that you can actually afford. And by the way, my aunt, little short story here before the video ends. I'll give you this because you made it all the way to the end of the video. But my aunt, I have an aunt here, and she bought a home like a long time ago. And she was like 10 years from paying it off and she refinanced the whole thing. And now her entire mortgage term is going to be for a total time of 50 years. You know why? Because you want to remodel the kitchen and all this stuff. The point is, guys, remember, your entire goal here is to pay this off as fast as possible. And to do this, you're not going to be doing what your friends do, what your family does, what your coworkers do. You're going to be a lot different. You're going to be a weirdo like I am. I just bought a home. It's paid for. It's done. Is it the best home ever? The answer is no, but it's a home you can grow into. And that's one big tip here is make sure the home you buy is a home you can basically grow into that's within your budget. So that means don't buy a one-bedroom home. Buy a three-bedroom, four-bedroom home you can actually afford. This way, when you have your family, you can grow into that entire home and not have to keep switching and switching and switching, okay? That's the overall idea. Now, if you can't find a home like this within where you live, the answer is consider moving out or consider saving up a lot more money for a down payment to make sure the numbers make sense. That's what this couple basically did. And that's why they save 40% down payment to buy this home that's expensive, right? But it's within their budget, okay? That's what happened there. Now guys, thanks for watching. As always, appreciate it a ton. Like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified. Comment down below any questions. I'm here for that. I'll answer your comments. And as always, that's it. Long-term team, officially out. More content here. My face is here. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and peace.